What's your favorite brunch dish? Because today we're making mine. I'm going to show you how to make a quiche. This is a broccoli quiche. It is studded with savory broccoli. It has a light and creamy egg custard and a cheesy top. And as always, it can be made gluten-free. Hi there, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. It is 70 degrees and sunny here in the Hudson Valley and this warm weather just makes me crave brunch. I don't know, maybe it's Easter or Mother's Day. I'm not sure why, but I am here for it and I can't wait to show you guys how to make this broccoli quiche. This is my favorite quiche and I'm gonna share some easy techniques that really elevate the flavor and the texture. And as I mentioned, you can easily make this into a gluten-free quiche. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you make this broccoli quiche, please let me know. And you can tag me over on Instagram at From Scratch Fast so I can see what you make. I love seeing all of the dishes that you guys make. Now, the first thing you need to do for this recipe is make a batch of my foolproof pie crust. I have a whole video tutorial on that. It is really easy to make and you can easily make it gluten-free. And this is actually the only element in this quiche that has gluten. So you can make it gluten-free if you are gluten-free like I am. And then you're gonna blind bake the crust. And this is going to ensure that the bottom stays flaky and crispy and not soggy because no one wants a soggy bottomed quiche. I include photos and instructions on how to do this at the recipe link below. And listen, if you are really strapped for time and you need to use a store-bought crust, I get it, go for it. So we've got that done. Now let's talk about the broccoli. You're gonna need a half pound of broccoli, which is about a half of a bundle that you get at the grocery store. And you're gonna wanna cut these into small florets because you want them to be evenly dispersed throughout the quiche. You don't want like any really chunky, big bits of broccoli. We make this quiche every year at Easter, but also at Christmas. It's so great for brunch. Veggies are prepped. I also thinly sliced some shallots or you could use leeks or even green onions. Got some garlic, let's head back to the stove and cook this up. Got a medium skillet that's not over the heat yet. I'm going to add olive oil and the shallots and garlic. You wanna start these all together because you don't want them to burn. So we're gonna cook them slowly until the shallots are softened and the garlic has infused the oil with its flavor. I'm going to remove the garlic cloves, but if you like a stronger flavor, you can actually chop the garlic and add it right in with the shallots. Now you're gonna slide in that broccoli. Season it with salt and pepper. And then I also like to add a touch of red chili flakes and then two tablespoons of water. Cover the pan and we're gonna let that steam so the broccoli's gonna get all tender and caramelized. Oh, it smells so good. That broccoli is nice and tender. The shallots are caramelized. At this point, you can transfer them to a bowl and we're gonna let them cool while we make the egg custard. All right, one of the tricks to this recipe that kind of takes it to the next level is that we are going to blend the custard together. So you'll need three eggs and I like to crack them in a little bowl before I crack them into the blender because if you get shell in there, it's a little hard to fish out. So by blending, the custard, instead of just whisking it, we're gonna really aerate it. And that is gonna result in a lighter, silkier texture in the finished quiche. A little trick. All right, so we got our three eggs in there. We have one and a half cups of half and half. And we have some fine sea salt. And that's it. And then we're gonna just blend this. Start low and then increase the speed to high. All right, the custard is made, so let's assemble the quiche. All right, so another trick to this quiche is that we're gonna brush the bottom of the crust with some Dijon mustard. And this is going to help create a little natural barrier to help keep that crust nice and crisp, but it's also gonna provide a little bit of brightness. Now we're gonna add that broccoli and all those caramelized shallots. And you just kinda wanna make sure it's evenly spaced. Now for the cheese. So I like doing a mix of grated Parmesan. The Parmesan is gonna give that like salty, umami, delicious flavor. And then some grated cheddar. Nothing's better than broccoli and cheddar, but you could use Gruyere or Comte or any kind of melty cheese that you like. And then we're going to add the egg custard and I'm just gonna give it one more quick little blitz so it's nice and light and blended. Pour that over top. Okay. That looks good. Now, here's the part where you get to practice your 
Ballerina Grace, which I do not have much of, but we are going to get the quiche to the oven. I like to bake it on a lined baking sheet. That way my oven won't get dirty. And I'm gonna walk very gracefully to the oven, hopefully without sloshing around the custard. You're gonna bake this for about 50 to 60 minutes or until it is golden brown on top and it is set in the center. Now you wanna let the quiche cool when it comes out of the oven. In fact, I prefer to even make this ahead of time and chill it. It's easier to slice when it's cold and then you can just reheat the slices on a parchment lined baking sheet in a 375 degree oven until they're warmed through. Look at that. You can see just by looking at it, how light and silky that egg custard is. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh my God. That egg custard is so silky. It literally just melts on your tongue. This is my favorite quiche. I hope you guys give this broccoli quiche a try. Let me know if you do in the comments below or you can tag me over on Instagram at From Scratch Fest. This baby is gonna elevate your brunch game. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nikki Sizemore, this is From Scratch Fest. I will see you next time.